Hey, school friends, it's Tuesday. We already got a tour of Allison and Audrey's room, so I thought I would give you guys a tour of my room. Um, without further ado, here it is. This is where I live most of the time. Rather modest. Um, you know, no bed, but I make do. As you guys know, I really like quotes. Uh, in the words of our, our hero, John Green, whom we did not get to see in Austin, but we will see in California when we go to VidCon. Yeah, VidCon! Anyway, he said, maybe our favorite quotations say more about us than about the stories and people we're quoting. And I think that is true. That's, we, we pick the things that resonate with us, and that's why they stick with us, and that's why we like them, and why we like to quote things. Like, I just quoted a quote about quotes, so... <laughs> there you go. Not surprisingly, I'm going to start out with a Harry Potter quote. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, my shirt says Ravenclaw, so what else could you expect from me? Um, but it's when Dumbledore asks Snape, after all this time, and then Snape replies, always. Um, I just really like that. Snape is kind of my hero. Yeah, yeah. Okay, moving away from Harry Potter. Uh, we read Mending, I don't know if we read all of Mending Wall in 8th grade, but we read at least the first line, which is something there is that doesn't love a wall. And for some reason that's just always stuck with me. I, I'm not sure exactly why, but just the syntax. Guess and what he's saying. It's Robert Frost, by the way. Not, not our K2 Robert Frost, but, but the famous poet Robert Frost. Going along with what I said about the quotes earlier, when I quoted the quote about quotes, another quote by H.M. Tomlinson, we see things not as they are, but as we are ourselves. If you think about reading a classic novel, um, probably the first time you picked it up, uh, you, you saw it in one way, and then the next time, whether it was weeks, months, or like years later, the next time you read it, you saw something different about it. You, you picked out different details, or something s like struck you in a different way than it had the first time when you read it, and that's because something about us has changed, and then we see that change reflected in what we're reading. I probably could have worded that better, but hopefully you understand what I'm trying to get across. You guys know that, uh, as I've mentioned like twice in my video so far, <laughs> that helping people is important to me. And uh, there are some quotes about that, um, that that explain where I'm coming from, I think. The first one is by John Don, um, For Whom the Bell Tolls. And I don't have the whole thing here, but just an abridged version. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. Any man's death diminishes me because I am involved in mankind, and therefore never sin to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. And the next one is actually a lyric from The Hush Sound. And it's, we all are connected for history's sake, would you please take notice. Those both just kind of speak to how as humans, we're all connected on a deeper level than just, I mean, we, we live in the same community, or we attend the same school, or we live in the same country, or in the same continent. I mean, humans as a whole are connected. And I think those two quotes really help express that. All right, last one I'm going to talk about is Walt Whitman. It's a part of Song of Myself, the sixth section. He says, and now it seems to me the beautiful uncut hair of graves. And he's talking about grass. Um, that whole section, I, I just really like that whole section, the way, just the way his words fit together and, and what he's saying is really great, I think. And just that line stuck out to me when I read it. And it still, it still does. There's some simplistic beauty to it. Now it seems to me the beautiful uncut hair of graves. 
This sounds good, you know? Those are by no means all of my favorite quotes, but that's all I have time for right now. And you can see the rest of them, or most of the rest of them, if you go to my Facebook pay profile, my Facebook profile. Because um, you scroll friends are friends with me, so you can see those. Um, maybe quotes week part two to talk about the rest of them. Eh? Or maybe I'll just make a video on my personal channel. Start utilizing that. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, um, that is all for now. Hopefully I can get this uploaded before midnight, and Audrey, I'll see you tomorrow.